Today we're going to cover, do a slight overview of the armrest on an MT600D series tractor. Uh, we're going to start up here on the upper left hand corner where we have our SV1 and SV2 uh, engagement button. Uh, just pressing it will engage SV1. If you press and hold SV1 it will engage the speed that you're going at and lock in SV1. Next we have our three-point engagement. In order to engage your three-point you need to toggle forward and backwards to engage the three-point. And then pushing forward will drop your three-point or down will raise your three-point. Next we have our hydraulic remotes, uh, fingertip control, and we simply push the lever forward or backward or depress the button to put the hydraulic remote into float. It can, it, the tractor can be equipped with up to six remotes. This one happens to have five. Next we have our uh, navigation button for our TMC screen uh, to navigate through the monitor or you can use the buttons on the monitor itself. Next we have our shuttle control for increasing and decreasing the speed on the tractor. You notice we have our range change button, the orange button with the rabbit. By depressing this you must be in a neutral position to engage the range button from high or low. Next is our one touch button on the left here. Uh, we depress that button to activate our one touch. Next is our increase and decrease buttons for our cruise control SV1, SV2. Simply when you have SV1 engaged you can increase or decrease the speed you're traveling. Or you can do likewise with SV2. Next button is our pedal and shuttle control. By engaging this button forward we are engaging pedal mode and you must in, uh, press the button again to go back into shuttle mode. Below on the other side we have what we call our power management button. To engage that simply to press and you'll see the icon come up on your screen. Next we have our preset engine speeds A and B. You can go into the monitor and set up a preset engine speed or simply increase your RPMs and by depressing the button for three seconds you will hear a uh, audible sound release it and it will lock your RPM into position. Next we have our three-point raise and lower dial on the left hand on the right side of the monitor here or on the armrest and this is our PTO engagement button. Simply depress it forward to engage the PTO after you have selected the proper PTO speed that you want to operate and then just tap it down to disengage the PTO. By depressing the PTO or the PTO switch here you will engage the brake onto the PTO. Next we have our hydraulic lockout button. When this button is engaged it will be red which means the hydraulics are locked out and when it's off means the hydraulics are active. And we have our throttle lever here as well. Next, just scratch that and stop. We have our right hand console over here by depressing the button and raising the lid it displays our three-point controls. This is draft. This is rate of raise and rate of drop. We also have in here our selection buttons for our PTOs. We have a 540, economy, and a thousand. And then we have a neutral button. We also have our mirror 
adjustment button under the right hand console here and we have our um, true track adjustment sensitivity dial here and this is our cab suspension button to adjust the sensitivity on the cab that is the right hand arm console this is a light control panel for our MT600D series on top we have a on off switch for our beacon if your tractor is so equipped and then we have engagement of our work lights on the tractor when it's lit up all the lights are on and when it's to disengage them we can simply turn them off or engage our flashers that will disengage our work lights here we have our automatic front axle engagement button when this is engaged when you make a headland turn and you exceed 25 degrees uh, it will automatically disengage your front axle allowing you to make that turn or if you exceed 12 miles an hour it will disengage automatically next we have our rear differential engagement that is in manual mode and we are in auto mode this will also disengage automatically uh, when you make a headland turn or exceed 12 miles an hour. Next we have our front suspension and this is on either on or off. There is no adjustment to the front suspension and you want to have that on at all times to get your smoothest ride um, during any working applications. And next we have cab suspension engagement. This tractor is not so equipped but simply depressing that and your, engage, your cab will be engaged. Next we have our steering valve engagement and we have our antenna engagement. When you activate the steering valve it assumes you have a guidance system in the tractor and it engages. And next we have our true track. When this is engaged it allows for a shorter uh, less revolutions of the steering wheel to make a complete turn at the headland so it speeds up the steering belt and this button is a defrost button for your mirrors that is an overview of the right hand console on the MT600D